to X-ray. End of information. November. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Juice. So I had a recent request for some 101 coverage and and that's coming, but one of the reasons that we were holding off on covering anything from the 101 is because of all the problems that they had um, in, before the recent update. And that's what this video is about. It's just a quick check and also to share with you guys uh, some of the stuff from the change log for the 101. I uh, apologize if this is redundant or anything for it. So I hope it's enjoyable. I'm just going to test the uh, the lift off at takeoff. That's the big thing that I want to make sure. So we are in takeoff position now. We've just got clearance taxi. I've got the ATIS information. Let's go ahead and roll out. So some of the changes, uh, they've added some uh, uh, IFR training mission, a Syria training mission. Uh, they fixed the boarding ladder uh, problem. If you notice when you were cold start, a lot of times you would get the uh, glitching of the boarding ladder and the helmets and uh, would basically, you know, the pilots would get their helmets on, the door would be closed, and then the ladder would appear and it would just jump back and forth. I didn't save any video recordings of what it was like, but it was definitely not uh, not fun to look at. Uh, something else that I learned recently, for those of you that haven't flown the 101 much or maybe not know this, uh, is you can bring down your visor for the pilot just by pushing the H key. And there comes the visor down. It makes it a little bit more shady. Just like a little... I think this is not as dark as the real visor is. Uh, I've looked through the real visor, and it's definitely darker than this. And stuff. Let's do the back seat or two. Let's bring his visor down. There we go. Now we're both in unison. So today I've got the 101 Charlie Charlie, and uh, and I've got the back seat set up with the GPS. <clears throat> but we're primarily going to be flying from the from the front seat and stuff. I've got a skin mod that allows me to unlock most of the liveries, no matter what team I'm on in DCS. You know, if I'm in a rearming spot, I can pick any skin. And you may have seen some of the videos from that, but it seems to be messing up a lot of the skin. So I'm thinking about going away from that or trying to find a better uh, skin mod that allows me just to unlock all the liveries. Because I've got some that say missing texture and they have that funky green armor looking camouflage pattern. So so we're going to take off today. We're just going to do, do a short flight around the pattern real quick just to uh, check out some of the stuff. So one of the things they said that they fixed in the, uh, in the changelog was the uh, excessive pitch up of movement during takeoff uh, when using correct trim. So we're going to go ahead and trim so that the nose is trimmed down to that one line right there. So I've got nose up a little bit and uh, our flaps are set. Uh, they modified the eleva uh, elevator efficacy. Uh, now the control stick has to be pulled farther back on takeoff. So we're going to check that out. It says just like in the real airplane. So I've never flown the real airplane, but if you have, comment on that. So speed brake is in. All good. We're clear. Nobody's coming in on approach. And nobody's landing wrong way in our face. Uh, runway's clear. We're taking it on. Uh, normally we do CTAF procedures when we're flying as a group. It's just me on the server today, so I'm just flying out. Or me on my host and everything. So uh, they've added some training missions in Spanish and English, and they've also added a 101 campaign. And I don't know if that's the paid campaign or if that's in the uh, free campaigns, but I'll check that out and maybe do something on that later. Mainly we're going to show how we train in the 101s uh, in, in with instructors and stuff in the back. All right. Okay, 40 knots rudder is effective. Try to stay on center line as much as I can. Boy, those guys look cool. Okay, there we go, on center line. All right, 80 knots. We're at commit speed now. 100 knots, nose is coming off the ground. Holding them for the fly off. There we go. The wheels are still touching. All right, trailing link gear is up. 125 gears coming up. 130 flaps are coming up. Those numbers aren't exact, but yes, it looks like the uh, the trim is a lot better, a lot better. And I didn't get the stick shaker at all. I didn't get the excessive pull up. I did have to trim nose down for the climb a little bit as we're pushing through 140 now. Uh, correction 160 all right so that wasn't too bad we'll have to see uh, see what you guys think about that and everything again if you haven't got the 101 try to pick it up on the next sale it uh, I got it as a gift uh, I bought the Garmin packages for both of them for the EB and the Charlie Charlie and uh, I'm working with Takeda our army pilot resident in the air warfare group on uh, Garmin 430 navigation. I've done, used it in the real airplane a couple times, but nothing where I'm I'm 
savvy and up to speed. So I'll be using experts for that and everything. Well, that's our video for today. Um, upcoming is going to be some Navy formation and rendezvous training that I'm going to be doing with Tyro. He's going to be my flight lead. I'm going to be his wingman, and we're going to be demonstrating some of the rejoint uh, procedures that we use that are kind of, they're almost 100% out of the uh, the Sinatra 1213 for T-45 training out of the Navy for basic. Enjoy today, guys. Uh, have a good weekend if we don't talk to you soon, and look for the next video real quick. One more thing before I go. Uh, for those of you that haven't been over there yet, be sure to go to the Air Warfare Group and check out Tyro's videos. He's moved all of his archive vi footage over, plus he started a brand new defensive BFM series that is on the channel, new content. So be sure to look at that. Uh, if you go to DCSD Brief on YouTube, you can see all of his original stuff and everything. But pretty much after the first quarter of 2021, all that data or all that information will be moved over to the Air Warfare Group. And that channel will remain up, but it won't be supported or monitored after that point. So be sure to subscribe over here if you want to see some more DCSD Brief content, as well as more information coming from other ex-military aviators and ex-warfare warfare professionals, if I can say that. I, I used to be in warfare, but now I can't speak. Hey, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.